Hi, my name is Peter Tennant and I'm an Applications Engineer at Control Logic. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to use the ABB ProSoft software to size an ABB soft starter. The first thing you have to do when you start off with the software is to enter general data such as what the ambient temperature is and the altitude. The reason why this is important is because if the ambient temperature exceeds 40 degrees C or the altitude is greater than 1000 meters above sea level, this actually has a derating effect on the soft starter's current. So if you change these values, the software then automatically will derate the soft starter and select the correct one. But for today's demonstration, I will leave the ambient at 40 and the altitude at 1000 meters, which are the de default settings and have no derating effect on the soft starter. The other things you have to set up is your supply voltage. The default setting is 400, but I'm going to change it to 415, which is the nominal voltage in Australia. Frequency, again, default 50 Hz, which is fine for today. But if you are sizing up a soft starter for an application in the United States, where that, for example, where they operate on 60 Hz, then you would select that. Once you've entered the general data, the next step is to enter the motor-related information. So here you can set up the number of motor poles. The default is 4. I'm going to change it to 2 for this example. We can also put in the kilowatt rating of the motor. Again, default is 11, but I'm going to put it to, say, 55 kilowatts. Then we have to tell the software what type of load is coupled to the motor shaft. So here I'm going to select a centrifugal pump. This is a variable torque type load, and you can see this from the, um, the torque speed curve in the right-hand side. If you know more information, such as the load or motor shaft inertia, you can enter these values. But for today, I'm going to leave the default settings. So once entering the, the input information, we then move to the next stage in the software. Now, what it shows us here on the left-hand side graph is a torque speed curve, and on the right-hand side graph is current plotted against speed. So looking at the torque speed curve, we can see the red dash line represents the, the load torque. The green line represents the soft starter torque, and the dash blue line represents the torque if the motor was being run direct online. So we can see here there's no problems. The soft starter torque exceeds the, the load torque, so there's no problem starting this motor. We'll also see further up, you can adjust things such as your starting time, your acceleration time from zero to full voltage. And also there's a relative starting current, so depending on the acceleration time you select, this will uh, also have an effect on how many times motor nominal current is drawn from the supply network on startup. So for example here, I could extend the, the ramp time from 11.3 to 15 seconds. This application doesn't require a fast start time. In fact, you might actually want to have a slower one to reduce some water hammer anyway. So I'll increase it to 15, 15 seconds. And you can actually see that the relative start current changes accordingly. So once we've gone through here and adjusted our starting times and made sure the relative starting current being drawn from the network is acceptable for the application, we go through to the final stage in the software. In this stage, it actually publishes the different models of the ABB soft starter that could be used for this application. So the first one is the PSR series, and they have an inline connection. The inline connection is your most typical connection, and it's basically a three-wire connection to the motor. And here it's saying that PSR 105, which is a soft starter with a rated nominal current of 105 amps, is suitable for the application. We can then move down and we can look at the ABB PSE series, which is basically two, two actively controlled phases, and is also an inline three-wire connection. Or we can move up to the PSTX, one of the newer series of ABB soft starters. And here we have a choice of either an inside delta, which is a six-wire connection, and in that configuration, less current is required from the soft starter. So here, an actual PSTX 60, 60 amp, will be suitable for the application. But if we want to go back to a more conventional inline three-wire connection in the PSTX series, then a 105 amp soft starter is required. The final two choices are the PSTB, and these are 
being shown is not available. The reason being is they're for much higher uh, power ratings and therefore they're not suitable for the application. There's some other features in the software such as being able to create a report. This is actually quite useful because it can generate a report about the selected soft starter and all the information that was entered to come up with the selection. You can then send this to your client and they can double check that you've understood all their application requirements correctly and therefore the soft, soft starter has been sized correctly. So as you can see it's a, it's a very easy to use piece of software but it's very helpful in being able to select a, an ABB soft starter for your particular application. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to listen to this recording today.